hello guys and welcome back to shopify theme development tutorial my name is rahul and today i'm gonna talk about another page template which is uh, another template which is search page template i would say uh, the search template renders the search page which displays the result in the storefront search and basically it looks somewhat like this in which we search the elements and uh, based upon our search we see the results it can be a page it can be products it can be uh, collections so that totally depends so with that we have the search object we get the search object the search form the search results so the search object well we can access the search object from this search object over here and in which we see the search results so results count sort by sort options and and so on so we we have different types which can be article page or product as i discussed so for it it the form the search form somewhat looks like this it's very simple minimalistic form and the search result looks something like this so we are going to discuss it in detail like not completely in detail but we have to just see how it looks all right so we have uh, the search do we see any search yeah search dot json and then we see that main search dot uh, main search so we have this main search over here okay so we'll remove everything from over here just to start from scratch and again uh, while doing the search thing i'm not going to discuss about uh, predictive search that comes in uh, shopify ajax api which which would be a topic for future which i'll be discussing in detail which can be uh, for for a cart a cart api cart ajax api then the product ajax api the product recommendations api and the predictive search api so i'll be discussing that in detail in upcoming chapters so for now we are going to just study this uh, search page how it looks and how we can make us very simple minimalistic search page all right so let's see so let's create the search page so we have uh, what we have over here we'll see what we get we have others we have search page and the search page is kind of i would say empty at the moment i have not saved it yet so i'll just save it i'll save it and let's see what we get over here i'll refresh the search page template and we see something like this we don't have anything over here we don't see any results previously we did have uh, something to show but you know that was coming uh, out of previous uh, code so we remove that code now we are going to insert this uh, form let's study this form so let's actually actually remove the code over here so that was on different screen so i'm just going to show it to you so we have this over here so we'll put this code over here and let's see how it looks over here with that inserted it should show up a minimalistic search form and we can actually type in some products like for example we'll just search for i'll just see what product we can search by the name so hats will search 
and we search hats it should go to the hats template so let's see uh, it should go hats and then it should show the results so at the moment it is not showing any results because uh, we added this but we didn't show it over here so we'll have to put a few more code over here so then we have to insert this this thing and let's see search result that should be the search result I believe and let's see do we have anything to show up over here so item dot content uh, so let's see what we get with this item dot title let's see if we get something over here we have this right so at the moment we are able to see a hat well it's a minimal product a minimal product title we can actually show some more things like uh, item dot image and wrap up it into image tag well img tag so that should show up the image and let's refresh uh if i'm not wrong i think so it should be something else item dot title we got the title uh, item dot uh, mm. let's see we have this uh, search results over here so we are going through this search result then we get the product and then product is as an item uh, okay let's see we have this product 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 and then uh, images or maybe we can just get the featured image probably that should do it right uh probably it should work now yeah we have it now we get the featured image of the product and again uh, we have complete leverage of using this whole uh object uh, object of uh, product and we can get all the data from over here so we can get even the price um, item so item here means uh, the product so we can also add conditions over here so for example we'll see if the search result is an article then we'll run a different code for example we'll uh, like we'll check if item dot type right uh, well let's see we have this type uh, search result search result we have the search type uh, we are in results so we are not in types so we'll see will not run in in this will move on with another code so we'll uh, add another i would say for loop for that 
right we can add for another for loop for that uh, we'll add search result this one we'll put a condition if uh, search dot type let's see let's print search dot type search dot types okay is it gonna print it uh okay we'll remove this for loop for now just to see what results we get over here uh, so it says product drop uh, because we didn't uh, dot price and again it's not going to give uh, the actual price it's going to give uh, the price without currency right so money without currency so we are not working on that so i sh it should be types i would say search dot types so let's see you see article page product and we'll see what type is it in here article page or product so if okay let's see what we can do with this types article hmm probably we, we can apply a condition in this case uh, so we'll have to read the documentation for this let me actually read the documentation and okay so upon reading the documentation i got to the point so let me actually sh show you what i read i read this dot object type well if we uh, go to a product for example product let's go to the product just to show it to you and i see if there is an any object type defined for this so can we see the object type of this this particular content no so what what i got from over here like we can get the object type of a particular thing for example if i use this object type over here uh for example not over here because we are running a for loop will apply a condition will apply a condition probably we can use a case case object type just like they have used all right so we can use the case object type and uh, again uh, using case uh, any case we can use if the object type is product we can uh, show a particular thing uh, if object type equal to an article because we have only three things i believe uh, object type article and what is the third thing uh, we have uh, article page and product so uh, we can use this so for different different conditions we can uh, apply different different conditions so uh, just just to show it to you i'll just search for something which is in 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 a page and case so we'll save it and in case of uh, article i'll just show something uh, like an h1 tag with the it, it's closed h1 hello i am an article cool. right and then again for page i want to show hello i am a page right save it 
so now based upon this well that that's actually the documentation of dawn so i can use this definitely it's more helpful like if it, if in case you are stuck anywhere you can just use the documentation of dawn as a you know a starting point from there all right so we have this now what we can do now if i want to search something inside a page uh let's go back to a page in this particular website let's create a let's see contact i want to see contact and in terms of contact it says that hello i am a page and i'm going to remove this so that in terms of uh, article let's see the blog post article we have this um, blog one which is blog one let's see blog one one it shows an article so that is uh, the beauty of the code we can use it in our own way so again predictive search is something which i'm going to discuss in the upcoming videos but until then you'll have to uh, see the easiest way we can implement it but the ajax api is something which we are going to discuss in deep because uh, that is uh, that cannot be covered in a, a single lecture while studying like this a main search so i'll create a, a very big lecture on that all right so i think so that covers our search page search page and uh, yeah i think so that covers our search page and uh, i think so everything uh, is covered in terms of uh, the documentation and uh, if anything is missing i'll cover in upcoming videos all right so yeah thank you so much guys for today and i'll see you in next video